So greetings everyone. Today I would like to present my research. Uh, the topic of my research, as was said, is BPG-based compression of poison noisy images. So you probably know that the uh, number of images transferred via a network uh, and stored is rapidly increasing nowadays. And this causes a problem of increasing power consumption and uh, for image processing and also for image transferring. Uh, to reduce energy consumption for data storage and transfer it, uh, energy efficient algorithm can be used and different methods of image compression can be used as well. Uh, conventional image uh, compression algorithm can be divided into two main groups. It is uh, was-was compression and also was ones. Uh, was-was compression produces small values of compression ratio, especially if we deal with uh, image corrupted by some noise. And also noise presence leads to specific effect in OSC compression. Uh, in particular, the noise uh, filtering effect can be clearly seen, especially in the homogeneous region. And in addition, an optimal operation point might take place for some images. On the slide, you can see the example of filtering effect. Uh, about optimal operation point, we will talk a bit later. Now let's move to some properties of our experiment. It is important to note that uh, compression characteristics depend on many factors, such as user coder, compression control parameter, image properties, and noise model. Uh, the compression characteristic also depends on image peculiarity. Uh, in this study, we try to cover a different uh, application area using a wide spectrum of images, such as medical images, remote sensing images, and some classical test images. Also, a specific feature of our study is that we consider the case of signal-dependent uh, poison noise. And taking into account the signal-dependent behavior of poison noise, uh, we have used many standard test images. And these images also was used to create another data sets, uh, so-called divided images. Uh, for creation of this data set, we divided values of the images uh, by two. And further, we will use abbreviation of diff2 for these data sets. Uh, these additional data sets allow us covering a more specific situation. Uh, as I said, taking into account the fact that intensity of the pixel determines the poison noise. In other words, uh, the more intensive pixel, the more variance of, of the noise in it. So it will be helpful to use uh, this data set as well. Also, I need to uh, note that we use different uh, metrics. Uh, you probably know that there are many different metrics that can help with image quality assessment. It can be some conventional metrics such as C or PSNR or a more complicated one that can relate to some visual feature of an image or even take into account the human vision system such as PSNR, HVSM or MSC metric. Uh, the conventional way to determine the performance of coder with adjustable compression control parameter is uh, creating a rate distortion curves. To obtain these dependencies, some quality metric users really need to calculate it uh, for each value of compression control parameter between an input image and the compressed one. But we are more interested in our type of dependency that cannot be obtained outside of simulation. And by simulation, we mean using noise-free images or so-called true images adding noise to them and comparing compressed images with the corresponding true images to various compression uh, settings, such as uh, different compression control parameter values. Uh, this was mentioned earlier that the second future of was the compression of noisy images is optimal operation point. And to see this point, let's analyze the obtained distortion curves that presented on the slide. Uh, according to PSNR metric, almost all images in three different data sets have OB that happen for all images of simple complexity, uh, while images of medium complexity have some local maximum. Uh, uh, let's, uh, I forget to say that uh, all data sets we divided into three types of complexity, and uh, it can be uh, treated like Mm, the more homogeneous regions, the more homogeneous percent of, or the more homogeneous areas on image uh, represent the more simply uh, simple image. So we have uh, some um, many textures or some details. It can be treated as 
a complex image. So take it, uh, uh, it will be take it into account if we uh, discuss uh, additional metric later. Uh, for the same metric, uh, for PSNR metric, divided images uh, have the similar behavior as it initial uh, images. And the maxima or peaks of the plots have uh, shifted to lower values of Q. And this due to the fact of signal dependent nature of Poisson noise. Also, we uh, did the same procedure for two last metric for PSNR HVSM metric, and the maxima are presented at the same Q position. And similar situation for MSC metric, four out of five image contain OP. And here you can see example uh, of results that can provide uh, with the compression uh, of noisy images. Here on the slide present example of image co uh, compressed in QOP. As you can see on the left of the side is noise-free images at the center noisy image and at right side of the slide is compressed images. It is not supposed that noise was suppressed for both version as for original image and also for um, divided version of the image. Um, to answer the question where exactly OP for different image, we structured obtained data in tables. Uh, these tables show the Q values, the metric values, and also compression ratio in this point. It also contains values of the image mean based on the fact that uh, depended on previous obtained transition curves, it seems that the uh, position of QOP can depend on image mean. And it's easy to see that for personal metric, uh, OP present for all images, except uh, image Diego, that represent a complex image for PSNR HSM metric considered a remote image uh, does not have OP. And OP is also absent for such image as Tooth, Diego, and Baboon for MSC metric. And it, uh, here you also can see that uh, divided images uh, for all metric has shifted position of QOP for, to smaller values. And uh, the shift value varies from two to three, depending on metric and on the image. So obtained result indicates that OP position can depend on image mean. So here we present a scatter plot of Q versus mean, and each point of scatter plot corresponds to one image, uh, for which its mean and optimal Q have been determined. Uh, also. Equation for fitted curve presented on the slide, and here X present the mean of the image. Um, and in another interesting aspect is specific dependency of compression ratio versus Q. The result indicates that original image usually have uh, larger values of compression ratio uh, to their divided version, but uh, the analysis show also sh that few divided image can have more compression ratio than their original uh, images. And it's clear to see that this uh, specific point at Q equal to 27, the compression ratio for divided image become larger than for original versions. Uh, another conventional approach that can help deal with signal dependent noise is uh, variance stabilizing transform. We propose to use modified version of one's compact transform, uh, which can replace uh, variants of Poisson distribution with random variants of Gaussian distribution. That will us to work in scenarios that have been already studied early, uh, when image corrupted by some simple mo noise model as Gaussian one. Uh, the modified and scope transform has to be applied before image compression. And inverse transform should be carried out after image decompression. And the same procedure for creating rate distortion curve was applied. So if we start to analyze uh, obtained metrics, but obtained rate distortion curves, uh, the first dependency shows that uh, for case of PSNR versus Q shows that simple image and also middle uh, structure image have decent peaks. 
that represents sufficient increase in quality. Uh, second case is Pearson RHSM metric for uh, remote sensing images. And here we can see the kind of similar uh, behavior. And also you can see that all image can be divided according to did they belong to original image or it belong to some divided version of the image. And the final situation of MSC metric that was calculated for medical image uh, provides uh, the same behavior for uh, obtained course. And here as well, you can see example of compressed images used unscombed based compression. Here we can see kind of similar uh, situation to direct compression approach. Noise presence is suppressed for both version as well as for original and also for divided version of the image. And to judge which approach is better, it needs to analyze the some performance indicator, uh, obtained quality of the image, uh, provided compression ratio, and uh, computation time required. And here, the obtained values of the metric are presented uh, in the first table. Here we present values of optimal operation point corresponding to two different approaches. In case of modified unscombe approach, the position of OP for different images is fixed. And um, first, as you can see, that you can notice at um, the table that uh, image quality metric PSNR are almost higher for unscombe based approach. Uh, in terms of standard compression method, it's often able uh, to provide considerably larger compression ratio. Uh, second table contains wow. This is practically the same. For PSNR HSM metric, have same behavior as for PSNR metric, and unscombe based approach has no small advantage compared to standard one. Uh, last aspect that need to be stressed is uh, considered time required to compress uh, some image. And third table present time spent on compression decompression for standard and um, for standard compression and for unscombe based. Um, it is also important to note the BPG coder works in such a way that smaller values of Q required more time for compression procedure. Uh, for the same uh, data set uh, for Q equal to one, it required four seconds to compress all image. And for the same uh, data sets, it required two seconds in total. And it brings us to a conclusion that unscombe base can be used if we need more quality in image and high compression rate is not so critical. And final aspect of my presentation is uh, one question that still remains open, at how the considered algorithm we behave when we will proceed some core or even three-dimensional image. And to answer this question, we use four images that we already used, but uh, this time it's covered version. And at first glance, the dependencies obtained are similar to the gray scale variants, but it uh, compression of core rims required additional research to cover case of component-wise compression and also different colors and sampling modes. So in this study, we have analyzed the peculiarities of voice compression of Y2 image corrupted by Poisson noise. Uh, the task of finding the Poisson position of OP for case of Poisson noise requires few simple operations, but the resulting image uh, compressed in QOP is usually has an acceptable quality and uh, low file size. Uh, it was found that for direct approach uh, to compression, the OP depends on image mean, uh, and we have presented possible position of OP. It was demonstrated that for given data, the available procedure based on modified and scomp transform. Uh, and it allows us to use already proven solutions, such as tools used for case of Gaussian white noise. And the Anscomba based approach has been compared 
uh, to more standard compression in terms of quality, compression rate, uh, and operation time required for procedure. Uh, thank you for your attention and feel free to ask any questions. Thank you very much, Bogdan. So, um, dear attendees, please, you're welcome to ask the questions. Okay, seems that we do not have any questions, so there will be a short question from my side. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not very good in the topic of uh, the image uh, compressing and all these algorithms, but the overall question is how the results of your research can be used in um, ensuring the cyber security or maybe critical infrastructure objects or maybe some uh, recognition of potential harmful uh, things, um, I don't know, to overall, let's say, the connection to cybersecurity. Yeah, please. Okay. Uh, from perspective of recognition, it can help, uh, uh, like, uh, good uh, compression, as I showed that uh, on the slides before, that you can see that noise suppressed is uh, the main reason why we analyze uh, different compression uh, methods because of, in case of what's the compression of noise images, because in practice, all images are mostly have some noise. It can be some simple model, uh, hard mo or some multiple models. And if we suppress that noise, it can allow the next algorithms to recognize uh, some object more clear or with no percentage of success. Um, from perspective of cybersecurity, um, I think they're kind of the same situation um, about it can, our algorithm can provide a more clear version of our final image. Um, I think that all that I can send, say about this question. Okay, so protecting the IP at least. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Bogdan.